okay guys so uh, in the last class we have done so many uh, topics and we have covered so much of the information so now today uh, we will uh, do some more hands on now please tell me anyone from the participant who do not have this uh, aws account please let me know is there anyone who do not have account in the aws type in the chat who do not have account okay fine guys so now we have this uh, console and uh, we will create uh, we will check explore this widgets so these are the widgets we can select add in your console home and they will be added from the bottom of your console home from the down side they will get start added so if you want to see patch compliance or managed instance so you can add operation summaries so you can add these which is so i'm adding them these widgets will be added in my uh, this board so here we have this patch management go to patch manager managed instances security hub and so on so let's uh, start one more time i believe every one of you already aware of this if you have account so now i will launch this virtual machine okay let's say give it a name uh test class server so again i am going to install and launch it for you just you can also understand so now we have to give it application or image which one you want so linux red hat linux uh, ubuntu mac os windows so let's say okay let's say we have windows okay so now we selected windows we have to see this t2 micro it is eligible for the free and uh, then we have to use a key pair uh, let's uh, create a new key pair so give it a name test class okay which type of key pair rsa and create key pair so we will save it
then we can choose or edit the network settings, virtual private cloud, subnet, no preferences, assign IP automatically. What does that mean? DHCP enabled create security group and wizard name is date coming for right now available inbound security group policy rdp allowed on port number tc tcp port number 3389 so type anywhere So the rule with the source of this IP allow all IP address to access your instance. So the recommendation that security settings, uh, security group rule to allow access from the known IP only. So well, we are just using it for the test purpose. If you want to add a security group, you can add it here. Okay, right now we do not have group, so okay. Now check the configuration setting. We have two uh, SSD, two GP SSD. And we have the magnetic standard SD which, which we have to use for this. We can increase and decrease the size. And we have to add a volume. The volume uh, will be added to this instance. And then we have advanced details if you want to check. You can check, otherwise just leave it at, as it is and launch the instance. Okay. So this one is asking, showing some errors. Security group will do below. Okay. So now we are launching this EC2 instance in our AWS. So this one what is we did for that that error that it's showing because the same error it's showing for us also. I mean for me also. For you also? Yep. So check it is a. Uh, you have to remove that one if you try to click on this. It it would it will be added. So there will be no entries. So that is why it is showing error. You can delete that one and launch the instance. If you want to share your screen, I would make you co-host and please uh, show me the screen as well. Okay. Uh, tell me your name. Ashutosh. Yes. Okay. I am going to make you host. Then you have to make me host back after. Sure. So now you can share the stream. Please share your screen quickly. No, it's showing host disabled participants screen sharing. Okay, now you are host. Still, let's show it. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait one second. Uh, who is this admin account? Please make me host. I'm making you host. Now you can share. Check. 
Okay. Yes. I shared, are you seeing my screen? Yes, it is visible. So I remove that, that's what you want when I mean, you ask. Pin, are you there or I lost you? Okay, guys, am I audible now? Yes. Uh, actually, there were some rights now in Haryana. So here in our in nearby places, we have internet ban. So I'm using local internet. So it is showing some difficulty problem going down sometime. No worries. So I'm just sharing my screen. Just to scroll it down. Yes, everything there. Instance type, e pair, test one. Very good. And uh, yes, like down. Okay, all good here also. Yes, now click on launch instance. Not going. It's not working. No. Okay. Just give me a uh, control. Pass the control, yeah. So this is good, all good. Not like the face. Yeah. That subnet I need to select or? No. Network setting this. But not okay. Just let me check. Okay, one second. It is our. It is our. Okay. 
So I'm checking the setting one time. So TCP port number, let's say 80. RDB port number 59. Yes. So now it will work. Okay. Okay, it's not added. Now you please uh, type it one more time quickly. We okay, select windows. Sorry. Okay, scroll down. Yes, all good. Scroll down, key pair. Can use the existing one, yeah. You can use the another one. Or if you want, we can create a new one, not sure. Do I need to edit this? Uh, right now, not required to edit, just go down. Okay. You can just type allow. HTTP S. Okay. Okay. Scroll down. More, more. Just launch instance. Yeah, now it is working. Okay. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Okay. Let me change back. What was the actual issue? We didn't get that. Uh, it was got disconnected. We have to, we had to just refresh it. Refreshing is the issue. Okay. 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 okay where is my instance? And we can create uh, these instances any number of times, like uh, for the testing purpose, we can create it and uh, delete it and create it again. Yes. There will now, not be an issue. No? Yeah. But how many machines you want, it only depends on that. No, just for like, we want to just uh, test it, how to create it for the testing demo purposes. We are creating it then choosing another option and creating again after terminating the previous one, likewise. Yes. Parallelly also, same time you can create multiple instance also. Okay. Okay. 
So let me which one we are using as G. So this is our instance uh, so it is showing our public IP is accessible through the public IP. Availability zone, this one. Instance type running, instance ID. And here, if you click on the instance ID, you will get the full detail. So, platform windows and uh, EMI ID, name, server name and uh, location on the server, key pair, all this information you can check over here. Capacities. Okay, security settings you can check here. Right now, not configured but we can configure so many things in the security. Then networking, this is the public private IP. And this one is the public IP. Let's open this address to cross check. Okay, it is taking time to ping. Then storage. <clears throat> so these two storage is attached. And then status check, status check, reachability passed. But, uh, Okay, then monitoring, which is disabled, we can enable it. So this is the quick view. Now click on connect. Okay, showing some more problem. Required an IAM profile. Okay, so what is IAM? So Danish, can you tell me what is IAM? Manoj or Milind, three of you, any of you please answer my query. What is this? Any idea? Any idea, guys? Okay. So IAM, let me just tell you about that. Something like defining the role of, you know, the user that we created. Role of what? Role for the users. Okay. And the profile we create the role and time to. Yes, yes. So, uh, let me tell you what is I A M. This is called identity access management. So, identity 
access management is used for for example you have this organization office or a cloud now in this uh, yes infrastructure kalha kazi right so this is the our office infrastructure and uh, we have uh, our uh, internet router here then connected to internet service provider isp and then router other side connected to the firewall and also connected to a switch and then all other computers are connected wifi router also connected and uh, remote user also using and connecting to this like we are doing to our cloud so now everyone every device what are the devices computers laptop mobile phones other iot's and all other devices which are there in the office also include these uh, remote work from home type of users all of them need to get access to the internet and network of this office when it is required they want to work then they will need the access so this solution iam provide secure access to them if you talk about secure access the what does that mean it must be identified with the ids of the users so that correct user only join bad user do not join hackers do not join hacker machines do not join bot bot do not join malware do not join the office so the identity first need to get verified then after that password authentication and multi factor authentication authentication so what is a uh, multi factor authentication please tell me anyone by using email or sms or otp huh? yes anyone else so multi factor authentication means guys your ha uh, tell me access via secure password yes guys uh, we use uh, authentication when we log in to any computer the id and the password then this will be called two factor authentication your user id and your password one factor your user id one factor your password if you add like rsa like rsa token right so if you add one more factor to get authenticated in this sequence it will be the extra layer one more layer of the security right so to add one more layer of the security we use this solution multi factor authentication called msa so what will be the another factor which can be authenticated so one participant told me rsa token another person participant told me otp any other idea guess any other idea or guess by like using authenticator microsoft authenticator app mm, that is uh, can be count as a factor not vpn in the vpn also we need all these uh, authentication to access the vpn so the most important factor mm, which is which get used is 
Yes, Sanjay, you are right. I will tell them. <clears throat> so the most important factor is device verification. Which device is getting access? If you have a laptop, so you have your laptop have so much of information, device ID, network type, and uh, cookies and all, and uh, certificates. So device ID is the third main factor, which also get authenticate in this sequence. Then plus we use to get OTPs. So now first factor ID, identity, then user ID, then device identity, and then OTP. It's coming four factors. So now we can call it MFA. If any user need to sign in, he need to provide these two things, device verification done automatically with these uh, protocols, security protocols, and digital certificate. And then we have to add one more layer, which is OTP. So digital certificate get used. Okay, so uh, device ID will get verifi verified with the digital signatures. Anyone know what is a digital signature? Please tell me. Quickly tell me what is digital signature? If you sign in your computer in the paint, it is a digital signature. Tell me yes or no quickly, guys. No. So digital signature is the main mechanism which get used for all type of secure communication. If there is one computer, there is another computer. And these two need to get communicate. So we will purchase a digital signature from any vendor like GoDaddy and install on this one computer. So any computer in the world, if it communicate with the first computer which have digital certificate DC, all this communication from the this his device, any device in the world, if it connect with this device or website or computer, this communication will get secure and encrypted. So all the user ID password, which you put to access these computers or your any sensitive data, personal information, cookies information of this session, will get encrypted. Encrypted means your important information will get changed into coded codes. So how this is happening? It is happening with the help of digital certificate. How does digital certificate look like? Any idea? Authentication for a documentation like that. Yes, that is also example. We can authenticate a document also. And any idea how digital certificate look? Let me quickly show you. All of you have seen, but you do not know. Okay, guys, you tell me. In this page, upper, upper side, there is a lock. Why this lock is coming? There is in Google also there is a lock. In Teams also there is a lock. In these all 
website zoom also there is a log why this log is coming tell me the certificates are installed in that yes the digital certificate is installed in this microsoft server so this digital certificate is making all the secure communication and all your sensitive data will be uh transferred from this microsoft.com to any computer in encrypted format <clears throat> okay now i click on this lock here we have options the connection is secure if you click on this so it will show certificate this certificate is showing valid if i click on this the certificate get opened so this is now digital certificate information issued to teams organization name microsoft issued by azure tls issuing certificate authority 05 so issued by microsoft validity friday 19 may 2023 to monday 9 13 may 2024 then fingerprinting is sha256 security protocol sha1 security protocol which is used for hashing and encryption so let's click on details here we have details about this digital certificate so it is it belong to microsoft its version is 3 its serial number is this certificate signature algorithm sha 384 with rsa rsa is encryption protocol sha384 is hashing protocol they both are working guys anyone know who how many types are encryption we have nowadays we have two types of encryption first is anyone tell me in the chat so we have symmetric or asymmetric encryption so both are using at the same time here this one is symmetric this one is asymmetric okay so this is digital certificate its issuer is a digicert global root you can also buy digital certificate from digicert let me just quickly show you this is digicert company and you can buy these digital certificate and install on your computer then your computer will make secure communication if you install these digital certificate here we have basic certificate secure and secure site pro if you just buy these and install these on your computer or document or website or any machine so that will make secure communication okay now it has uh, more information like validity and uh, public key algorithm public keys you have this uh, 4096 bit key long key for the very secure communication hackers cannot break this code easily and then uh, we have uh, certificate key ids certificate authority key ids like we are generating key ids for our instances <coughs> certificate key usage critical signing certificate signer extended key usage tls information tls is the security protocol used for internet security 
secure communication over internet over tcp protocol tcp is transport control protocol then we have certificate basics constraint and authority information and certificate revoke list which are revoked certificate expired certificate the list of those certificate policy so all these things are there to make the secure communication between two devices now security algorithm signature value a long prime number for used for rsa encryption then this sha 256 fingerprint and one okay so this one is retail certificate let's go back so this digital certificate is making this website or computer or document or server or any device if you install the digital certificate here it will start communicating in a secure and authenticated way it will also perform device authentication between these two devices client and server so this is how uh, this uh, digital certificate work now let me tell you about iam more so as i am telling you in your office if any device is getting access to the network maybe from inside or the outside so it use once one technology which is called identity and access management in this your identity will get uh, checked your user id password will get checked your device verification will be done and multi factor authentication will be done and after these four steps the permissions will be applied that is called authorization that how much you are authorized to work maybe you have only read only permissions maybe you can write also authorized so maybe you can uh, delete and uh, execute permissions also so according to your role in the office maybe you are a manager then you have so much permissions if you are a sales executive you have little less permissions if there is an office office boy so he has very less permissions it depends on the role what role you have and we specify the permissions on the basis of roles and responsibilities so after identification password authentication device authentication and uh, what next multi factor authentication then authorization will be applied that how much permissions you have to use this system so this is how this this uh, c5 parts are the part of iam so in the iam we can use create user account also in these new user account we can apply permissions and security settings is this an understandable guys <clears throat> type in the chat yeah for everyone very good yes okay so in simple language iam is identity and access management which is used to access your accounts your computers securely with all the security measures okay all right so this one is our instance and uh, <coughs> 
this is rdp remote pro desktop procedure call to create remotes ec2 serial console you can connect to the console from the com port one serial port okay so it need uh, some more uh, settings to create a iam instance profile then we will be able to access this so we can go to the manager quick setup and there we can do further uh, configuration you can inst start this uh, manager aws system manager from anywhere so this is the document how to create this host management and iam profile okay i am going back to the console clicking back and uh, here we have security and we have this option security role so it is showing something over here inbound rule outbound rule and we will be make this we will be making this setting so i will click to launch this wizard and here run reachability analyzer so it will analyze what we have to configure source path instances source is this instance which i created destination path is uh, internet and uh, okay so where is this internet gateway tcp protocol and create and analyze the path okay so it is showing pending that means it is not working so we can uh, just uh, delete this analysis and uh, go back and make the setting properly so in our instance security i am role these are the roles outbound filters so now let's take some instance settings security settings change security groups modify i am role so we will just go to the i am role you will choose a role i am instance quick setup update this as i am role and now this is good to check so let me get click on launch instance and uh, <coughs> no not this connect to instance we have to connect so let's select connect click on the instance id yes so again it is showing to troubleshoot okay so we will perform this
so we are using rdp just to test it will uh, ask the password of this instance what password we have created <laughs> trying to connect to this instance. So I am, what is my password is? I turn. So the caps is on. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I will reset my password. I I forget I created this in the first class. Okay. So this way also we can connect and uh, to serial console mode. This also is one option to connect with this, this instance. So session manager we can use to connect, RDP client also, and EC2 instance also. So we will figure this out, and then we will uh, connect to this. Okay. 